On this edition of In the Know, we are talking all about wildfires. It is spring, we are inching closer to summer, and yes, that means wildfire season. We have already seen plenty of wildfires across the country. In fact, across the country, there are 32 wildfires that are considered out of control as of now. And based on the National Forestry Database, over 8,000 fires occur each year across the country. This is the most recent scene out of Alberta in Edmonton. Now, there are at least 20 wildfires as of now that are burning across Alberta. And in Newfoundland, fires as well. So fires from east to west. I have Nadine Powell here, one of our meteorologists from the Weather Network. We're going to talk about how the weather conditions can really help to contribute to these fires. And it's very unfortunate to know, Nadine, as well, that a lot of these fires are human-caused. Now, let's look at the fire danger rating, Nadine. And maybe you can talk about uh, the weather conditions that attribute to this fire danger rating. Yeah, certainly. I mean, uh, sticking out of note for us is the, the uh, high to extreme. That's the area there in sort of that orangey yellow toward the red uh, through a large chunk of the prairie provinces. And certainly because we have been so dry for quite some time, we haven't been getting a lot of rainfall or moisture, especially across the southern prairies. This is why we see the fire danger elevated for us. So that's the situation for us for today. As we head into tomorrow, Victoria, you see there, it improves a bit for Alberta, but still in through Saskatchewan and for Manitoba. Uh, it is at that high to extreme. Uh, we are getting a bit of moisture into Alberta, but certainly, Victoria, the situation really is quite precarious for us across the region where we are continuing to see uh, many fires uh, burn across the region. And it is good news that as we head into your early work week that Alberta, the, that fire danger rating gets to more of a low one. And that's all because we're getting rain across Alberta. So rain is a good thing sometimes. I know a lot of times, Nadine, people don't want rain in the forecast, but this really helps our wildfire season. What about British Columbia, Nadine? Yeah, well, for British Columbia, you see there, we've got 35 active fires ongoing uh, so far for the year, 189. And we consider, or at least BC Fire considers the, uh, the year or the season starting April 1st. And of those 189 fires, Victoria, you see 162 of them are human caused. So this is certainly something that is very, very concerning because as the season progresses and we're seeing these extreme heat coming up now, uh, conditions will perhaps only worsen so it's not going to improve uh, or at least help that situation there and you see Victoria for us in Alberta you were making reference to this over 300 fires so far this year. Uh, Nadine, it is very unfortunate that there's that many human-caused fires. As we are in the wildfire season, it's always important to have uh, safety precautions in place. I know people love to go camping, Nadine. However, you do need to make sure that you check your local authorities to make sure that there's no fire ban in the region. Yeah, certainly so. Of course, this is the season when everyone's getting outdoors, but it is tinder dry in many spots. Some interesting stats we want to show you. You see here, wildfire totals the uh, uh, so far this year. BC and Alberta coming in uh, top spot. But interestingly, though, as we head into Saskatchewan and Manitoba, those two provinces in terms of the hectares burned, they are taking first and second place. So there is certainly a bit of a an imbalance with regard to those two parameters there and a couple of the uh, really prominent fires, Victoria, that are burning are coming out of uh, Saskatchewan and Manitoba. And we, of course, here at the Weather Network, always want to keep you updated with the wildfire conditions across the country. So stay with us here all wildfire season.